currently Uganda, Ugandan individuals and households are still grappling with high out-of-pocket payment at 41% on health expenditure and amidst the high levels of poverty due to low domestic financing and the under-financed health sector which is mainly dependent on external financing. Yet the country through its national health sector hector development plans impact on national health insurance scheme as its major health financing reform towards the achievement of universal health coverage. Because of the vulnerabilities of low income, uh, that again affect women as a result of inequities, they are not able to access healthy services. And therefore, in order to address the so many inequalities that we are facing as Uganda for women, uh, both adults and young women, we need to look at the policy, legal framework, what are those policies that are still not yet approved? For example, the adolescent health policy, the sexual reproductive health policy need to be approved. So that those issues of information and legal aspects, we need to ensure that we have financing, domestic financing, because most of the funding we have that is addressing most of these aspects is donor funding.